The Lee Room 5 isn't just a phone, it's an SNES, an N64, or a DOS game haven. It's time to turn off those pesky ads and turn up the user controls to the max. From DOS emulation, all the way up to PSP. Of course, the Lee Room 5 can also emulate older platforms. Multiple Arcade Machine Emulator has an impressive list of supported platforms. Just to name a few, Apple II and Game Boy Color are a few examples that work well. While not yet optimized for touch, RetroArch is easily installable on PureOS and works well with a keyboard. Here, I'm using a program called Remote Input to send mouse and keyboard data to the Librem 5. This is a great way to use your mouse and keyboard from other Librem devices to control your Librem 5. Bluetooth controllers also work and can make the experience very immersive. Once Linux version 5.10 is released and added to our update repo, you should be able to attach Switch Joy-Con controllers directly from the Bluetooth settings. This can still be done today after building this kernel module. The homebrew scene for these old platforms is worth checking out if you're looking for a new retro gaming experience. While the Librem 5 is a phone, it's also a general purpose desktop computer in your pocket, enabling you to run a wide range of software, whether that's a messaging app, a web browser, or a retro game.